Happy Tuesday! Say hello! Hi! Hi! Very nice! Hello, Zeus. What are you doing? Hi! Hi! Oh, hi! Very well done. I love that. Thank you for saying hello to me. Everybody loves you scooting around on the floor. Yeah, are you going to show them more? Mm. No? Oh, there you go. Mm. Hi. I love hearing you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness, Nala. Show me some flips. I could listen to you all day. Show me something. Oh, mom. What are you doing? <laughs> does that feel nice moving your body like that? I bet it does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Such a boy. What's he doing? <laughs> Give me a flip. Sebastian, Sebastian has a standard that we used to use for him. I don't know if he's outgrown it, but we still have it here. Whoa. You got to get that right arm up. Yeah. You got to use that one. You have two arms. Yes, you have two. You got to use it. Anyway, he does have a stander. We're going to try to get him up and standing up straight in it. He definitely doesn't appreciate or like it, but it's good for him. So I'm gonna go grab it from the basement, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see what he thinks. We're gonna see if he still fits in it too. It's been a minute. <laughs> there you go. This arm, two arms. You can use that one too. Is it hard? Hey, you feel this arm over here? Yeah. You gotta work this one too. Look, put it down. Look at that. You see that? Yeah, there's two. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about that? Not sure. Mr. Zeus is always close by. <laughs> Can you use it again? Ready? Put it down, 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 down. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, there's two there. <laughs> He's stretching out that muscle, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, get me out of here. It's not therapy day. <laughs> See you later, dude. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I love how he just rolled away from me. Get me away from this lady. <laughs> Okay, for those of you who don't know what a stander is or what it looks like or what its purpose is, it looks like this. It literally is a device, a chair, used for children who need help standing up. And basically what it does, obviously you get them in the device and you strap them in. They got straps around their belly, straps around their hips, and straps for the feet. Although I'm not sure that Sebastian's feet actually reach down there yet. They might. It's been a minute since we've used this. But anyway, it literally gives them an opportunity to have support, but be in a standing position. That's why they call it a stander. So it has been a minute since we put Sebastian in his stander. In the past, he did not really like or appreciate it. 
So we'll see A, if he still fits in it, and B, how, what he thinks about it now, I guess. There are all sorts of adjustments for this thing. Pretty much every single thing that you see can be adjusted. So if Sebastian is too tall for this now, um, I'm sure it can be adjusted. Let's see what he thinks about it. I'll put one leg here. Looks like we gotta scoot you up a bit. Yeah, press your leg down. <laughs> Hold on. What'd you think? This is a big boy chair. You gotta straighten out your knees. So you're gonna be standing on your knees. Scoot up a little bit. Yeah, it looks like that back chair is gonna need to be definitely adjusted. That back neck support, I should say. But when he stands up, he's gonna scooch down quite a bit. Get your hips nice in place. A little support there. And your legs, mister, his hips are so tight. Should've did a little bit of stretching. We got nice little pads down here. But let's see. Looks like we're gonna have to do some stretching. Did a little bit, but he needs a good, good warm up. What do you think about this, buddy? I know it feels crazy. Give me a second. We're gonna bring you down. <laughs> Try to keep your feet flat. Yeah, feet flat. Feet flat. <laughs> All right, hold on. There's a little lever back here. Are you ready to go for a ride? Ooh! <laughs> Let's see you, big boy! Wow! Knees are buckling. You gotta put your knees nice and straight like this. Yeah, feel that on your legs down here? Feet down. You're standing on your tippy toes. <laughs> big kid look at you so any physical therapist or any therapist who knows how to properly use this chair they're gonna you're gonna take a look at his knees down here see how his knees are buckled in his knees the whole point of this is to get him in a full standing position but Sebastian's still working on that so his knees down here should technically his legs should be completely straight that is how you properly utilize a stander like this However, like I said, a couple of things, we need some adjustments. This all needs to be kind of lifted and separated and, and made taller in order for him to fully be able to utilize it. And also um, he needs some more stretching on his legs. His legs are very, very tight. His hips are very, very tight naturally, as well as his knees. So although this isn't totally 100% proper position, I bet it feels nice to be sitting straight up. What do you think? How does it feel? You look so big. You know that? You look awesome. What do you think? You're tired. <laughs> you got a hair on your lip. <laughs> you look great. Seriously. What do you think, Zeus? What's he doing? So really, we want him to be just up a little further. Legs and both of their feet slots with his feet completely flat and his legs completely straight. We can try to adjust him. So what you would do, whoops, we gotta go the other way, like this. Oops, sorry, Bubba. And then try to straighten out his legs from there. So we can try. Oh, these clips are, how do you get in there? You're gonna be stuck in here. <laughs> Goodness gracious, hold on. Okay, so if we scoot you up just a little bit, get these supports nice and at his, his little rib cage, bottom of his rib cage, his legs, see I'm putting a little bit of pressure. They don't want to straighten out, which is okay. He's pretty tight. Takes a good, a good bit of warming up to get these legs loose so maybe we'll continue to do that throughout the next couple of days and weeks can't just be done you know within an hour and then his legs are ready to straighten up but that's just something we got to work on in physical therapy but you look great you want to stand up one more time get you nice and buckled in i don't think that clip is necessary the other that velcro is so tight 
Okay, ready? How you feeling? What you think? You look great. Yeah, move those, move those muscles. Figure, yeah, try to stand up. Go ahead, use your legs. You're not digging it too much, huh? You look great. We're gonna figure out what? What, tell me. Go ahead. If you'll hear, Sebastian's grinding his teeth a little bit. That, again, as I told you guys a couple days ago, that's his way of letting us know he doesn't like something. Grinding his teeth is a sign of discomfort and that's how he communicates to us like, hey, I don't really like this, this is bugging me. What do you think? You're sitting on your leg supports over here. You're not supposed to be sitting, yeah. You're not supposed to be sitting, you're supposed to be standing. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me what you think. What? You're sliding down quite a bit, mister. It was, what? It was a good try. We'll have Miss Stephanie, your physical therapist, come over and we'll get you all readjusted. What do you think about that? <laughs> you ready for a nap? <laughs> One more time. Big kid. Wow. You look awesome. It's a lot of work, isn't it? It's putting you to sleep. Yeah, you gotta hold your head up. You're probably squeezing your core, trying to figure out not how to slide down, right? You did so good. Can I get a high five? Yeah, thank you. Good work today. It's not gonna be your last time in this, okay? Yeah, we're gonna work on this in physical therapy, okay? Does that sound good? Can I get a Nux? Nux right here, boom. How about a high five? You plug in your ears, you're done talking to me? All right. Respect, respect. Were you pretending to sleep just so you could get out of there? Is that what you were doing? <laughs> All right, what did you think about that? I think you did really good. Don't you? Oh, I need a nap, Mom. Oh. Big boy. All right, we're going to take a little rest. We'll see you in a bit. Sebastian has been sleeping for over an hour, which just, if, if you've been following us for a while, you know that lately he has not been enjoying naps, but that just goes to show how much work rolling around and moving his body, and even just that few minutes of sitting up in his stander, how much work it takes on his body. I'm going to get ready to wake him up here shortly. Hey, cutie. What you doing sleeping on your belly? You needed a comfort nap, huh? Every single night since Sebastian's been home from the hospital, he's been sleeping on his back like a nice big boy. Sometimes, every once in a while, he needs a nice comfort nap on his belly. <laughs> you worked hard for that nap, huh? Look at those eyelashes. And your cute little mustache, oh my goodness. Hey, are you gonna wake up? No? <laughs> we gotta get up. We got stuff to do. Hi. Oh, okay, five more minutes. I love you. I'm proud of you. You're very tough. You're very strong. And very, very handsome. You did really good today. <laughs> you get a little snack? No, are you sure? It's gonna be really good. I got some yogurt planned. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, yogurt. Eat. Eat. Okay. <laughs> Need to take a quick trip to the grocery store. <laughs> All right. We just got home. Sebastian did not appreciate waiting in the cart. Um, while I checked out for my groceries, he was throwing a fit. And of course the grocery store was very, very busy. 
So I just look like your typical um, struggling mother. <laughs> And everybody was staring at me, but it's fine because he was still cute. Always the center of attention, I suppose. Am I right? <laughs> I got some new tea that I really want to try. I, ugh, my thumb, I really got to get that thumb fixed, but I, I just feel like I'm at night, I'm reaching for something to drink. Um, and I don't want to be drinking the wrong things. I would like to be healthier. So I'm going to try some tea, caffeine free. So we'll see. I'll let you know if I like it. Um, I'm going to cook some dinner. I'm going to do very simple, um, some chicken with just this seasoning on it, the honey sriracha. I'm going to do a little bit of corn, corn muffins just because we like those. And then um, rice and veggies, and that's about it. But I'm going to give Sebastian a little bit of yogurt so he can have a little snack before Aww. bedtime. You want that? Yogurt? You want to eat? Can you say eat? Eat, eat, <laughs> that's probably just by chance. I don't think that was, eat, yeah, we wanna eat. So I'm gonna give him some dinner and then I think that's about it for the day. Don't forget, if you watched my video earlier, go ahead and give our friend Freya and Marcy a follow. Show them some love. I'm just gonna put my veggies over here really quick. And I think that's it for the day. You wanna say goodnight? Can you wave bye-bye? Bye-bye. His hands are blue because it was cold outside. He'll warm up in a minute and his hands will go back to normal color, I promise. Yeah, bye-bye. Well done. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> love you. <laughs> Good night. I love you. You worked really hard today. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> Wait, you trying to look? You see the light in the hallway still? I'll turn it off. Oh, you worked so hard. I love you so much. No, get some sleep. Put your head down. <laughs> Put your head down. I love you so, so much. And your daddy loves you. And your grandma, grandpa. And your aunties and your uncles and your cousins. <laughs> and everybody on YouTube. <sighs> Yeah, everybody on YouTube loves you. You're very, very special. <laughs> Love you. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.